me, but I couldn't do it all alone. Me. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. It's me, Brianna Marie, and I am throwing these videos at you today, honey. <laughs> I'm coming back to back, but today's tutorial is not a mask collaboration. It is just a look of just me doing. I just had to get this video out to you because it's featuring this skincare product and I want you guys to try it out. Um, I'm not going to keep you long in the intro because I really want to get to the look and also to the skincare because there will be a giveaway in this video featuring this product. Without further ado, if you want to see how I achieve this look and also more deets about this, got a colic exfoliating pads, then keep on watching. Hey guys, I am back with another video. This is not a collaboration series. I will be doing them before very soon. But I just want to talk about skin. I will be doing a makeup tutorial in addition to talking about my skin. It's a sponsored video featuring a pH Advantage. And this is a glycolic acid exfoliating pad that I'm going to be talking about. But first, in addition to using that glycolic pads, I also have other treatments that I used before I used them. So, when I first started YouTube my skin was, was kind of bad but it wasn't super super bad I would get like acne marks like here and there it would be like dark marks but I didn't really know the correct way of cleaning my face um so what I used to do was when I take my makeup off I use only soap and the soap would be like dove soap and it would be like scented soap so as opposed to those years of me using that stuff my skin has gotten bad um but in addition to me learning the ins and outs of how to clean my face and properly use these products, my skin has been clearing up really well. As you can see, I know that you guys know that from when I used to do my tutorials, my skin was really bad. Um, I used to have dark marks like here and there and I had a very bad breakout when I used this stuff to take the hair off my face. It was like a hair removal, almost like there and it broke one side of my face off really bad and I had bumps on my face. I picked the bumps and it was all type of dark marks. But as you can see, it's getting better and you can probably tell which side it was. The skin that has the most acne is the what side it was on. I know I'm looking ratchet, you know, but this is before the process of the makeup. Anyways, in addition to this product, I use my Doodle Olsen Soap which y'all already know I've been using that and I tell y'all so many amazing things about that soap. I use that first and then I use also my Clinique Facial Exfoliate product wants you to have your face completely clean. And I did exfoliate as well. MJ gave me this product with lemon and brown sugar in it. it made my face feel really, really soft. This is also made by one of the best plastic surgeons out there. So made with 10% glycolic acid and 5% bioavailability. Apply this on a clean face, avoiding the lips and the eyes, and let this sit for five minutes. Before we go into that and apply this on our face, I want to let you know what I use after I wash this off. So I take my Clinique Step 2, which is an exfoliator as well. In addition to that, I use my Witch Hazel, my Aloe Vera, and I also use this even better um, Dark Spot Corrector. Give me a little bit more moisture. I use this Skin Tone Corrector with SPF in it. In addition to this product, there will be a giveaway. So there will be three Lucky Dows to win this product. The product is really good so far. In a week, it is trying its best to lighten up my dark marks as you can see booster so it's going to help lighten up those dark marks all I need you to do is write in the comment section below how would this help your skin how would this benefit you in any kind of way and they will pick three lucky winners and we will contact you to let you know if you have one or not if you ever want to buy this product you can also use my code that will be in the description right below let's get right into the product and apply this on our skin Lips are super dry, cracky right now, and that's because I don't drink no water at all. Also, set a pH advantage booster, a lip advantage, and it hydrates, plumps, and smooths the lips.
didn't mention when I stated that there would be a giveaway I'm gonna need you guys to like comment rate and subscribe this video don't forget to go follow me on um, social media sites like um, Instagram and also Facebook but if you don't have a Facebook most likely follow me on Instagram so that you can win one of these at home treatments letting this sit for five minutes and what can I do but get on my phone for five minutes I just washed that off my face with super cold water so I can close my pores now I'm taking my um, clarifying lotion exfoliator and putting this on my face the next product I'm going to use is witch hazel I'm going to take my aloe vera my dark spark corrector moisturizing lotion with SPF in this I'm about to do my eyebrows and prime my eyelids off camera and I'll be right back for me to start the eye. I just sat in front of the camera because I did have to do a skincare um, routine at, at the beginning. Um, so y'all yeah, already know I did my eyebrows off camera and prime my lids with the Vaughn Concealer. This time set it with Sasha Buttercup setting powder and Ebony I used and NC45 to carve out my eyebrows from MAC. Yo, I'm literally inspired to do this. I'm going to go into my Central Stage Palette by Pinky Rose. And I'm about to grab Boom and Glam. Mix those two together to give me this perfect brow bone highlight. Morphe 212 brush. Just this brush that gets really precise under that brow bone. And I love it. I went to my 3502 palette. This is the Nature palette. And I'm going to grab this orange shade right here. My BH Cosmetics brush. Take my Juvia's Place Zulu palette and I'm gonna grab this pink right here. I'm gonna mix it with this purple, it's like a purple pink shade 5C palette. And a Morphe 513 brush. So I want this to be more defined. take this sugar peel love plus color and then I'm going to take my brush which is the Morphe 518 brush to put this right in the outer part so what I'm about to do is go back into my 35C palette well which is MJ and I'm going to grab this deep right here I already know what I'm going in with, and that is my Ambrosia IFX base. The brush that I'm taking is my flower brush from Walmart. I'm gonna take this sugar peel eyeshadow pen, get it right, girl. And this is in the shade Starburbia. So I'm just taking my fluffy brush which is my M14 brush and I'm just grabbing that uh, pinky purple shade and putting that on the outer part of my eye. Add 
now so we keeping it cute and simple i was gonna recreate princess bella look in the beginning but i just thought of this one um so i hope that nobody got this look taking this one away i'll look with liner Get my lashes off camera and the rest of my wing liner off camera. Um, so now what I'm about to do is I'm about to take this pons for dry skin. Take my Eloise Get Glowed Golden Rose Illuminator. Foundation today we're switching it up and I'm gonna take my cover effect in 110. back after taking my mom to get some seafood paradise oh my god so <laughs> what i'm gonna do is i'm going to bronze my face up and i'm gonna use my bobby brown bronzer in the shade d4 y'all already know i almost dropped it y'all already know i love this shade i'm gonna take my morphe r2 brush i think that's what this is yeah r2 and uh, this is my favorite bronzer brush because bronzer i don't use it like contour i get in that cheekbone but I go round and big areas. Taking this Black Radiance Contour Kit. Um, this is a True Complexion in the shade Medium to Dark. And I'm going to take my Morphe 437. Using Topaz by Becca. I'm going to take my crayon case and Glola. Not a big fan of blush, but. I love those warm tone blushes, but I was thinking about something orange, but then I'm going to keep it with razor. I'm just going to do razor, y'all. The eye, I'm just going to take this color right here that I use my transition. And this brush is really good to tight line is the Morphe 432 brush. To smoke it out using ah, this red shade. I'm gonna use this red, Love Plus with a morphine E36 brush. Liner, I'm going to use Estee Lauder lip liner. Um, it's a double wear lip liner and it's in the shade Break.
so she kisses the mech. My Anastasia Beverly Hills Neon Coral. To add Richard Lusher. Uh, so this wraps it up for this look. I'm about to go put me on some clothes. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed this peachy look. Comment down below, what looks do you really want to see from me this year? I really want to know. And also, don't forget to enter the giveaway. Like I said, all the rules are in the beginning of the tutorial. To subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on Instagram. And if you have a Facebook, you can follow me on there. Comment down below. Tell me, why do you want this product? Why would this product be beneficial to you? Don't forget to go check them out in the description bar below. Even if you didn't enter and you want to check out this this treatment peel at home please do so by clicking the links down below and i'll see you guys on the next tutorial